Do you think all armoring vehicles are armored in the same way? Not true. At SVR Engineering, we get a chance to benchmark against the opposition vehicle when a client brought in this Toyota Fortuner armored to B4 level from opposition company uh, for window replacement. So we took the opportunity to investigate where armor is fitted and where not. So first thing we found was front fender, no armoring material. At SVI, we believe it's important to armor behind the front fenders because it protects your electronics in the engine bay, but also it provides partial protection of the firewall in case you're attacked from the front at an angle. So not good in this instance. Then when we looked into the cabin, we removed the door panel and we could see the Kevlar material inside the door, which is what we expect. What we didn't expect was to find almost a liter of water standing inside the door because the draining holes at the bottom were plugged by the adhesive used to fix the Kevlar, so not great. Um, if we look at fit and finish in the vehicle, it was actually quite good, um, but there was a reason for it. If you armor and you have to fit the standard panels over the armor, it's sometimes difficult to get a perfect OEM type finish. In this case, we actually removed some of the pillar uh, covers to investigate inside the pillars. And would you believe that this vehicle has got no armor in the pillars? So A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, no armor. Can you imagine the ballistic gaps if you attack from a side, if there's no armor in the pillars? Most shocking um, area that we found that was not armored was in the tailgate. Well, at SVR Engineering, if you armor a seven-seater to B4, you armor the rear quarter as well, on the sides and the tailgate included. So this company decided to fit a B4 glass, which is great, but then absolutely no armor in the tailgate. They choose a shortcut. They fit armor material, the Kevlar sheet, at the back of the bin. So you can actually see the edge of the Kevlar in the back of the seats. But can you imagine that this vehicle is being used as a seven-seater with children, the most vulnerable, sitting at the back with absolutely no protection? And we also investigated the side uh, quarters of the vehicle on the rear and again, no armoring material. So can you imagine the ballistic caps from the rear of this vehicle? So we always say, do not just look at price, do not just look at the level. Look at the company providing the protection. With SVR Engineering, you can trust us to minimize any ballistic caps and provide the ultimate protection.